Last week, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Among, blocked debate on the allegations regarding their expenditure and recruitment processes raised from a social media campaign. If you had issued a statement at that point, we would say yes. But to proceed as if nothing has happened, we go to the next item. And yet, the only issue I have on my life is a member of this house. And Thank once you. this house is on fire, I cannot sit down there. We need answers. What happened? Right to speak. Honorable members. What okay. happened? Sit and I give you an what answer. What happened? However, Among retorted that she would not run the house based on rumors being peddled, especially by the gay community. Me to answer you on hearsay, on the things that you have cooked on the social media, because I have said no to bomb shafting, I will not. But political commentators Patrick Wakida and Sara Virete say the best way out of such a situation is to clear the air of accusations. It's an accusation labeled against the parliament. They should be able to come up with a statement as parliament, not through a spokesperson of parliament. Because the spokesperson has in fact come out as one who is you know, trying to protect an individual. I think the speaker should have guided on how that debate needs to be conducted, other than blocking it. Once allegations are thrown at you, you have to respond, one or the other. And uh, in this case, we are talking about the temple of democracy, which is parliament. Wakida adds that parliament's image is now on the line, and it should be the duty of every member to defend it. Let them have a solid case and ask that the speaker allows them to table it. On her part, Bineta says the clerk to parliament should have been reprimanded for seeing, saying and doing nothing about the allegations. There's no need to, uh, to put bulk funds on, on accounts of staff. The clerk should have resigned by now. That is too irregular. However, on Saturday, speaker Among assured her constituents that she had secured the president's backing. And a president who supported me is supporting me. Parliament's plenary proceedings will resume on the 28th of March. Walter Mwesije, NTV.